Hello friends, uh, today we're gonna learn view bag in MVC3 Razor Syntax, Razor View Engine. Now, as you know, MVC3 is stateless. I mean, from one controller to other controller request, the data is not maintained. And we need something to pass data from controller to view. So, view bag and view data serve this purpose. And uh, let us see what is view bag and Viewbag is used to pass data from controller to view and Viewbag is a dynamic property that takes advantage of new dynamic feature and being a dynamic property we don't need to typecast it to the uh, destination object or we can say <coughs> the object in which we are gonna populate the values and basically it is wrapper around the view data which is also used to pass data from controller to view which life lies only during the current request and no type custom required for complex data type as it is a dynamic property now let us see what is view bag and how it works through code we create a new project Let's give it a view back in MVC3. We create a project. We choose empty application. View, view engine is Razor, and we can use HTML semantic markup. I'm adding a controller. It says view by controller, empty controller, adding it. So I get a default index action result method which returns a view. So let us change its name to view back and we create a new view by right clicking it and add view. We are not using master page. It. so our controller and our view is ready now let us prepare data for view back let's create a list of string can add as many cars and the cars you like Now a list of cars is ready and now we assign it to view back. Syntax is there is a property called view back dot after dot it expect us a key so we can give key name as cars and we can assign the entire list this way. So we have assigned the view back. Now we need to get it on the view. So here we create uh, an ordered list and we gonna iterate the list values using for each loop. Here we get view back dot and our key was cars at the rate car 
let us run the application oh yes we have not set the controller and action method name in the global.acx so controller name is view back uh, action name is view back now oh, let's run the application so it's displaying the string values in list format that is an ordered list format so by this way we can transfer data from controller to view and even you can populate a drop down list using view back suppose we create another view back we create another key for the view back that is bikes new we say on the cbr we go to the view we create a drop down list that is drop down list helper we gave it his name it is bikes which will enter as id and name and new so it accepts a select list and we give it as we back dot bikes <coughs> now let us run the application you can see drop down being populated using viewback so this is the way how viewback works and help us in passing data from controller to the view so this serves our agenda that is how viewback works in mvc3 thank you friends